from Mazdem and today I'm going to be going over one of the few many ways of how I would be helping a seller look through offers when they're in a multiple offer situation. So let's jump right into it. My first tip would be to look beyond the basic offer amount. Obviously, the purchase price is a key piece of information in the offer. However, other offer elements may impact the total amount of money you'll receive. For example, if the buyer asks for certain items not permanently installed in a home, such as curtains, appliances, furniture, um, that may be included in the deal. Also, if the buyer insists that you pay for home inspections, other professional fees, and closing costs. So obviously the overall amount that you'll receive will be reduced by these items. Going into tip number two is considering the timeline. This is so important. The scheduling of real estate transaction can be tricky for both parties because typically the buyer is also selling their current home just as the seller is purchasing their future home. These multiple concurrent transactions make the overlapping scheduling difficult to coordinate. Since your preferred closing date may be related to a specific event that's important to you, such as the beginning of the school year, starting a new date for a new job, it's important to review the closing date specified in the offer. Also to remove a review any contingencies included in the offer that could affect the timeline. Going into my third tip is assessing the seriousness of the offer. You know a buyer is serious when they emphasize their financial commitment in one of the following ways. Arranging a pre-approved mortgage, offering a relatively large down payment, or including a relatively large earnest money deposit. Going into my fourth tip would be to review the contingencies. In addition to looking at any financial repercussions and the possible impact on your timeline, review all the overall impact of the contingencies including in the offer. For example, if the buyer asks for specialized inspections. I hope these quick tips were able to help you. If you have any questions, always feel free to email me anytime. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.